good morning it's early so today we're going to be packing up we're going to go to a station uh, called Goshen station uh, which is over the back of is it Kennedy yeah over that way um, it, it sounds absolutely fantastic the owner however rang us yesterday and said that they've had a lot of rain and to potentially take the inland route after seeing the inland route on the map we decided that we're going to take the coast road and brave the bog spots so we're all packed up we've got the mdc on boys in the back i'm not sure if you can see them because it's still dark uh, but you'll hopefully see throughout the morning how we go and when we get there okay so we've just turned off at kennedy we've just started the inland trek up through to Goshen Station. The map's saying it's only about 80 k's, but it's gonna take about five hours according to the GPS. So let's see how this road is today. The station owner, as I said, had contacted us yesterday to say that in a couple of sections on this road, it's gonna be a bit boggy um, and did give us inland instructions. However, we've decided to still come um, over the coast and over the range. So give you an idea what's ahead. I'll try and take a bit, I'll turn the camera around in a sec, but say so hello guys. Say hello Dylan. Hiya. Get everyone fed up a car well just in case it does take a little bit of time this morning before we get to the campsite. Alright, hopefully we'll get to the station sooner rather than later. Alright, we're heading up Kirima Range Road. It's very tight. Let's see how we go. Yeah, look, here's another one. Wow, how pretty is that? Oh, that one's a big one. Oh, you see it coming all the way up? Just reached the top of the Kirima Range, got to the lookout. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning. so good just with the V8. To wind up the windows from the mud splashing. Fingers crossed that's about the worst of it. We have arrived at our camping spot and it is divine. Look at this, right on the river, small beach, camping spot, if you can see there. The camping spot! Yeah. Yeah. All right, just need to get out and set up. Well, we arrived and we finally set up our campsite and this place is just absolutely stunning. I'm going to turn you around so and I'm just going to show you where we're camping but also show you our own mini personal waterfall um, where the boys are fishing, our beach, it's absolutely amazing. Hang on. That's our campsite over there. This is our beautiful beach. The river. And hopefully you can see the waterfalls behind me.
All right, we're just about to put the yabby pots in and we're gonna have a bit of a competition to see which works best. Yabby pot number one, we've got banana and banana peel. Number two, we've got the a la carte dine seafood loaf. And number three, we've got Dylan's foot and potatoes. Take your foot out, mate. Okay, so we'll go and put them in. Yabby pot number one, that was the cat bait. All right, this is mum throwing in the second pot with diced potato. Bit gammy, but we'll let it slide. Right, this is mum putting in a third pot in this sublime spot. What's in the bait? The bait thing is filled with banana and peels. That goes real deep on a drop off just there, so should be real good returns. I'm a bit tired because it's got a bit of a current going through it. Yeah, it's rapids are real serious back up there. Yeah. Alright, that was the last pot. Woo. Still cannot get over this beautiful sight and view. Sounds like the ocean rolling in the background. Canoes, the beach, camper. Just to zip it open so you can see what my view will be in the morning. Open it up. Up. Let's hop in so people can see what we're viewing in the morning. We're in the morning. Yeah? Yeah! That will be, besides this one, that is my view. They give the noise. We're making the boy a bath with the water pump on. How stunning is this? The fire pit over here and the boys playing cards. All right, so first pot this morning, this is the cat food. Is there anything in there? Nothing. Nothing? All right, chuck it back in. Or do you want to move it? Two was the potato next to the rocks. What? Oh. Is there anything in that one? Um, a few little fish, like little bait fish. All right, well let's grab the bait. And one yabby. All right, we'll Fresh quick put them back in the water for a bit so they don't die, and we'll put some water in the bucket. Where's the gravy? Number three. Number three, this is our pot with the banana in the bit of the deeper water too, in the main creek. Anything in there? Oh yeah, heaps of prawns. Heaps of prawns. Right. Crack them open. Tons of prawns. Tons of prawns with the banana. Who would have known? Yeah, who would have known? You should put it on, bring it up so have a look. Big <laughs> This is going to be good live bait. Mm. Okay, so you can see we got um, some bait fish, didn't we, Dylan? Yeah. Yeah, we got some bait fish and we got a couple this of fresh boy water. There. What's in there? This boy there. That's a boy. There's a boy fish, is there? Mm. And I don't know if you can see there, we've got a couple of freshwater prawns as well. Okay, it's all fun for the kids, right? We have just spent the last uh, 40 minutes driving up to the top of Herbert River Falls. We're just about to make our way down. We've been told it's extremely slippery and to be careful. Um, but just look at this view. It is stunning. So to get down, we're literally sliding on our asses. <laughs> Scary as hell. And we made it. Look at it. That's where the falls begin. That's where we're up there. So 
If you saw from my previous episode, I'm not great with heights, not great with my kids around heights. So just check out this, right? That is where the other half of the family is who isn't afraid of heights. And that over there is a sheer rock face down to the gorge. Yeah. No. Oh, they want me to go over. So we're trying our hand fishing now. We've got our bait. We've cut a couple more in the um, pots this afternoon. So wish us luck. It's in the middle of the day, so we'll see how we go. First fish of the day. Washing it off. Alright Dylan, reel him in, reel him in, quick, 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 you got him, reel him, reel him in, wow baby, fishy, 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 reel him in baby. So the thing about when we camp, my husband has this thing where he needs to have the biggest fire, man after my own heart though, because I like to cook on the coals, so we're doing it to get coals later for a lamb roast. Boys are bringing back extra wood, which we obviously went through last night because it was so cold. But this was the tree stump that we, not the tree stump, the actual um, log that we dragged back with the car to be able to give us some firewood. So nice hard wood there. This is our pile of logs, logs for tonight to put on the fire. And so we've got some started there, trying to cook down as much as we can for some coals in a couple of hours. It's been going since last night, so there should be some coals underneath anyway, but... Alright, so I picked up the other two pots, cat food and... Um, banana, and a potato one has lasted out to get the best result out of all three. So this is the um, potato pot I pulled off earlier, maybe 10 minutes ago, and I've just left it here so the fish don't die. So there's plenty of little prawns, and what we found, the fishing at this station, the prawns, you just have to take the nippers off and throw them on the hook. And um, they work a treat when it comes to fishing, but the bait fish things, they're not, they're not real good for fish at all. The fish don't take them. They don't stay on your hook real well, so even if the fish do take them, they'll just pop off your hook. Okay, here's the results. So, looks like three, what the heck is that? Oh, fawn shed, okay. Three fish and six yabbies. Okay. All right, well, it's time to leave this beautiful place. We're just about heading out now. We've got a few more gates to go before we hit the road. It's absolutely stunning, highly recommend it. Also, if you like us, I can't do this without subscribers, so please hit subscribe. Boys, do you have anything else that you want to say about the weekend? No. No, what were your favorite bits? Probably the pools. Falls? Swimming. Swimming. Sorry, we're going through a creek, but as we speak, it's the shaking. So, all right, so bye, Dylan. Bye. Bye.